before this video starts, I would like to share some news with you. It's been a long time since my last upload and editing vlogs to YouTube was a real joy, but unfortunately it was rather difficult for me because, to be honest with you guys, my PC is a total crap. Right now I work full time and also I get side hustles as a model to afford myself a new computer, but unfortunately or maybe fortunately I have some other financial responsibilities that require money as well. At first I decided to abandon vlogging, but this felt wrong, honestly. And so I have decided to continue making videos for you guys, for myself, for, for everything, for the culture, because I feel that this is something that I want to do, I want to be this talking head. And so the thing is that I have created a Patreon account. If you guys want to support your Russian homie verbally, informationally or financially, I will be so thankful. I have decided to upload videos regularly and I hope you guys help me on this journey. So let's get straight to the video. I think guys, I trust you enough to show you my home. Yes, I live in rural Russia. It is like 200 kilometers. <laughs> it is 200 kilometers from Chelyabinsk. Hey. Hey, say hi to my viewers. Hey, Fancy. Hey, how are you? Yeah, you good. What up? I think I haven't been here since summer. Oh my god, I missed I missed this place, I swear. I guess you cannot see me because I'm too tall. Yeah, so the moment I arrived, my grandma gave me a task immediately. And it's not an easy one. She wants me to dig, uh, dig out the potatoes out of the soil, you know. We do that in Russia. Yo, guys, to be honest, I feel like I'm falling ill. I'm not used to Russian climate, even though I was born and raised in Russia. The only thing that helps me is skiing and exercising in winter, so you know my, my body gets, I don't know, my immunity gets stronger. Yeah, the potato works are going well, going well, my guys. Yo, I'm almost done with the potatoes. <laughs> my grandma said that I gotta work until the sun goes down. That's really what she said. So yeah, I gotta continue because the sun is rather up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like extremely, extremely bad. I, I don't know, my head hurts. I probably have high temperature. I don't have a... a you know that things thing that measures your temperature here there you can see the Ural mountains I mean they are actually so close I uh, guys not sure if I will show you anything else because I don't know I don't really feel like walking around my house <coughs> yeah, and of course I'm not going out out of the house man the worst thing about this situation is that my girlfriend is in the city and I, I miss her so much oh my god oh my god <laughs> why do I look so so retarded now let's look at what's outside today okay so today <laughs> on the horizon of my village we have chicken still do their things there you can see my grandma walking with the goats yeah it is extremely cold today but this woman has no chill yo guys this is the last update i swear i, I just i just cannot stay at home i don't know i feel a lot better actually comparing to the first day of my 
illness. Yeah, I guess it is time to leave for me. I feel, honestly, honestly, I feel better. And I will, you know, come to, to a better shape already in Chelyabinsk. Fantic, fantic. Fantic. Shabaka. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. Hi. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. Hi, squad. Gang, gang. I'm the last member of the gang. Not you. The last one. The most important member of the gang. Hey. Tell him something. Tell him something. Mwah. <laughs> gang. There you can see some babushka is also probably going to, you know, catch a bus with me. If you see babushkas arriving at the bus station, this means that uh, the bus won't be, you know, cancelled. <laughs> oh my lord, finally, finally. of Chibarpul. This is the city where the meteorite actually landed. Like it wasn't in Chelyabinsk. Yo, so this is the train station of the city of Chibarpul. And here, right across the road, not very bright, you know, barely can see it. This is the bus station. And unfortunately, my destination is there not here oh my god this is so gray and so soviet like look at that oh my fucking god and now the bus station is totally empty Девочки, никого не пускайте, не выпускайте, хорошо? Говорили.